a Sam, Sam and Darius, together forever. Those who knew Darius Poe Reed and Zan Lockhart would tell you they were attached at the hip. Thick, thick as thieves. <laughs> Best friends since high school, football players, and more recently attended Kasumnes River College. They did everything together. Every time I see my little brother, I seen him. But now their families are planning a joint funeral. Darius, Zan, and their friend Lavelle Elmore died yesterday morning when their moving truck slammed into a tree. I still can't believe it's true. I don't want to believe it's true. The three rented the truck to recycle boxes, a way to make some extra money. They were coming back from the Bay Area on I-80 when Darius, behind the wheel, overcorrected an unsafe lane change and lost control. As soon as I found out everything that happened, I was just praying that Zan wasn't with him because it's like, like it just kind of has another piece of him still around. Like, it's just weird. It's just, everything is just too weird. Today, family and friends gathered at the Sacramento house where Darius grew up, sharing pictures. Junior prom. Sharing memories, leaning on each other for support. It's, it's not right. They're supposed to bury me, not my son. Not me bury my son. It's not supposed to go that way. They remember Darius as a small guy, just five foot six, but a force to be reckoned with on the football field. Voted most inspirational by his Pleasant Grove High School team with a smile that could light up a room. A smile that's comforting even in these pictures, as loved ones cope with these three lives cut painfully too short. Darius touched a lot of lives in the short 20 years that he's here, and I know he'll forever have an impact.